everyone, I'm Vic. I'm Nick. And we're Envy Board Gaming, and today we have a game found unboxing of Last Light by Gray Fox Games. This is um, a, a project I backed myself, and Gray Fox says it's the best game they've ever made. So, wow. They said that, huh? Yeah, That's they awesome. said, yeah, that it was the nicest looking production. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right, <laughs> I'll take thickness it. right there. Last light. It's a thick boy. Thick. Don't hit the camera. Yay. So Vic, back the deluxe edition here. Yep, I didn't go for the eight player expansion or the thing that makes it so you can play eight because we don't ever. It'll never happen. I bet. Yeah, probably not. We can't even play it differently. <laughs> Captain, Captain Sonar. Once. It just we don't have those big epic game nights. I can feel things rattling around, so I don't want to show the back right now. So let's just crack it open. Let's crack this not open. <laughs> Thanks, Nick, for the help. I need it. All right, do the honors. <clears throat> Victoria, designed okay. by Roy Kennedy, our buddy at Dice Tower. Yay! All right. We good? Yep. Okay. Got the rule book, which is standard. It's uh, not like a, what is it? Um, linen? Finit. Yeah, it's not linen yeah, one. It's, it's just a regular rule book. But the Very text spaced isn't, out. yeah, it's spaced out. The text isn't too scary. I think I could even handle this, eh? Look at this. It only has a few pages, not too crazy. Doesn't okay. seem too bad. Got a little bit of assembly here, planet assembly, very Ooh. easy though. And you have the game board assembly because things are going to rotate so they have these different discs. And you got this quick reference sheet for icons. So, these are packaged together. All right, I'll work on that. Vic will show you the game board. I'll get this out of the way for a sec. While well, Vic shows this black game board. Oops. It's nice. It's very clean, straightforward. There's another piece that's going to go on top of it that moves it around. So, you know, space is dark. This is a game about last light, so it makes sense. It's not going to be bright. All right. There we go. Those are colony ship tokens here, according to this rule book. Planetary tokens. This is the first player token. It has good thickness of the cardboard. Yeah, not too bad. Not flimsy. There you go. Now, do you think these are base game things, some of this stuff here? Uh, I'm guessing that first player token might be an upgrade in the box, but we're going to take a look at the retail side of things here. May or, may or may not be upgraded as we didn't look at that sticker too closely. That uh -huh. said what was deluxe and what wasn't. All right, so there you go with that. Um, possible factions right here. Yeah, those are colors. the colony ship tokens. There we go. Get that out of the way. We're going to get this board out of the way now because it is pretty basic here without the art. There we go. Show that all thick. Yeah, so it has an organizer here. This is obviously the middle piece. That goes on the board. Mm -hmm. Seems Ooh. to fan out. Looks cool as hell. Yeah, so this is going to make the center. One disc right there. You have a piece in the middle that's yeah. going to rotate that. Another piece so, that's going to rotate that. Pretty straightforward. Nothing unexpected there. There you go. Nice. All right, so acrylic planets. Let's get these. Lots of stuff right there. Bases. I'm just gonna put these aside if you want to look at them there, Vic. This is how they're gonna hover. It looks like. So you might get those. Yeah. We'll put one together for you. Huh. There's some asteroids. How fun. How many times can you say that you have asteroids in a bag? <laughs> wow. Whoa. Those definitely need to be painted, right? Yeah. 
a good Those candidate are for the uh, spray um, yep. airbrush. airbrush. That's it. That's the word. And then these little, these look like they could be related to power. Um, purple uncommon resources. So these are resources that they have in here that are like inside of uh, little plastic. Feels good. That's what these are here. Those are planets. These are some ships. They have ships in here with all the different uh, faction colors. All right, so I'm going to put one of these together. Yeah, it's not clicking together, but it gives you an idea. Yeah, of how the planets are going to sit yeah. when we get them out there. That'll be it's fun. a little guy. They don't click together at all. They just, they're, I have to look and see the directions, obviously. Um, let's see these. Is that a currency? Is that space, space bucks? Hmm. I'm looking at this. I'm not quite sure what that is. <clears throat> okay. So, punch out all the planetary ID tokens and assemble them as depicted below. You're going to slide that plastic on that. Find the planet corresponding with the colors. Yeah, I guess with those other cardboard token um, things. Once assembled, these never need to be disassembled. Yeah, get, they can sit. So I'm going to look at one while you do the rest of this stuff. I've got some stuff I can pass you. Over here. Yeah, these are damage tokens. I guess when battles are going to take place. There's some. Oh, cool. These as well. These are good. They're standard um, plastic. But they're nice compared to a cardboard damage token or damage marker or a heart, a wooden heart. It's a wooden heart. <laughs> I gave you some cards there too. All right. And these are technology cards. So things that you can do there. I don't know much about the gameplay just yet. We missed opportunities to see Roy, uh, the designer from Dice Tower, uh, demo how to play it. When we were on the Dice Tower cruise, we did see some people um, playing it, but we did not have an opportunity to do that. Oops, dropped some cards there. Um, so those are small, standard little cards. And is there anything else in the box? These aren't clicking together, I'm wondering. Um, there's some other cards, so there's uh, a Golden Planet promo, so Golden Planet promo, not sure. There's some more cards of uh, standard American size cards here. I'll Those could open. be reference ones and graveyard cards. Yes, these are definitely graveyard cards because the first one face up is a graveyard card. Uh, you're playing a two player one right there. It shows two players. And a research card right there. On the screen, yes, I am. So mm -hmm. I'm going to crack that open so Vic can show that while I'm trying to figure out why these planets aren't clicking in how I would expect. I did have that reversed at first, but I fixed that and they still don't click in. Um, and unfortunately, I just cut my nails. <laughs> just trim my <laughs> That's nails. That's all right. Those are pretty, I mean. Yeah, I think I got it. They're pretty standard. It doesn't seem, I mean, I saw one picture of it, but it's just a. All right, well then, here's the easier ones, the large guys. All right, so these ones are the alien faction cards. It looks like they have different conditions, abilities, let's see. So this feels nice, nice bright artwork there. Some of these, oh, like a bird faction. I like that. Hmm. <laughs> it's gonna get old. So, one day, <laughs> be like one. That's weird. It's like a little guy. So, 
some interesting stuff there. There's another pack like that as well with the alien faction cards. Okay, so that's some storage for uh, yeah, storage. stuff, some trays in there. Game trays made the insert for this. Uh, the rest was all cardboard. You have some of these little, uh, there's a promo right here, promo tech cards, uh, some self-learning AI. So can this play one player, Vic? Do you know? No, it says it's a two player. Two player minute. Okay. Self-learning AI, maybe you can. Maybe the two player needs one. Maybe, or maybe this is just the name of it, self-learning AI. And maybe that's just uh, not related to the player count at all. Don't know. Yeah, because it says two to four players okay. right in the rule book. So. All right. I think that's everything, huh? Yeah. That's it. That's our unboxing. We will definitely be showcasing an overview and review of this one, so check it out on our channel soon. And thanks so much for tuning in. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. So, a little update. The dice. I did not mention them. They're cool. They got some blank size. These are for combat, I think. They look like they've got hits and whatnot on them, but we'll find out. And we looked at the instructions a little more clear, and that's saying to attach that, put that on over top of it. So Nick did that, and now it fits a lot uh, more secure. So just make sure you read the instructions a little carefully and then use a little mustard to push it down like Nick just did. And it looks sick. You find a little acrylic planet that Must be it. matches. Blue yellow, look blue yellow. Hopefully, oh, that's blue green yellow. Maybe <gasps> let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Is there a blue yellow? I'm gonna go with this one. All right, it's not blue yellow. <laughs> Just kidding. Sometimes it clicks in, but yeah, this is it. Yay, play on a stick. Would you look at it? There we go. So we wanted to show very important that it is not a malfunction. We've yep. got it. Yep. As long as you put that in first, the, pl the plastic part into the bot, the base first, you're yep. good to go. Two simple instructions. There it is. All right. 